I was disappointed, and, and I think all of us were disappointed, that at the very time that we were face to face with the union and with its executive committee, they had already made the decision to decertify their union. We were meeting with them after four o'clock this afternoon to talk about the offer that we tendered them, and an hour later, we got letters saying that as of four o'clock, they had given up their status as a collective bargaining representative. So I think we know where the commitment was. It was a commitment to litigate, as we've said all along. And that's unfortunate because all it means is that the eventual resolution of this business dispute is going to be delayed. We will have an agreement, and we will have a system that is good for fans, is good for players, and allows this game to grow. You've heard a lot of talk about an $800 million gap. Nowhere close. Not close to factual. We offered today to split the difference and meet the union in the midpoint with a player compensation number that would have been equivalent to player compensation in 2009 and above player compensation in 2010. And we offered to grow it from there over four years by $20 million a club to the point where in 2014 the player compensation number was the union's number. It was the number the union proposed to us and we accepted it. That wasn't good enough. We offered to guarantee, for, for the first time in the history of the league, more than one year of injury on player contracts. Apparently not good enough. We moved off our wage scale, and we offered to do a rookie compensation system within the context of a hard rookie cap, as the union had proposed, which would preserve individual negotiations and maintain the role of agents in the process. Evidently not good enough. We offered, in fact, we agreed to the union's request for a cash team minimum for the first time in league history. We agreed to it at their number and their structure, evidently not good enough. We told the union that for 2011 and 2012, we would play within the existing 16-game regular season format, and we committed to them, notwithstanding the rights that we have in the current agreement that we would not change to 18 games without their consent, evidently not good enough.